Hello, Henrico learners and families. Welcome back to Edflix. My name is Dakota Gagliardi, and I teach fifth grade at Montrose Elementary School. I am excited to be your guest teacher for this week's activities. Today, we are going to learn about drawing conclusions and making inferences. Remember, to draw a conclusion, you must first figure something out for yourself and think about what makes the most sense. And to make an inference, you will use what you already know in addition to what the story says. Let's practice. I'm going to read a story called The Scratchy Sleepover, and we're going to think about an inference we can draw from our text. The Scratchy Sleepover. Ryan was looking forward to sleeping over at his friend Robert's house. Though they had been classmates for a while, the two had only recently become good friends. Ryan packed up his sleeping bag, a pillow, and a few of his favorite toys and games, and then his mom dropped him off at Robert's. Robert met Ryan on the porch, and the two did their secret handshake and started playing right away. First, they played pirates in Robert's tree fort. Next, they played ninjas in the driveway. Then it started getting dark, and they went inside of Robert's house. As soon as they walked in the house, Ryan's eyes started getting red and itchy. He saw a big orange cat sitting on the couch. Then he started sneezing uncontrollably. I'm sorry, Robert. It's been a lot of fun, but I have to call my mom. So let's think about what we already know. I know that when your eyes get itchy, it might be because you are sick or experiencing allergies. In the text, I read that the author said, he saw a big orange cat sitting on the couch. Then he started sneezing uncontrollably. So I can infer that Ryan is allergic to cats. So see how I took what I already knew? I added that to what I read in the text to make my inference. As a smart reader, now I can conclude that Ryan is probably not going to go over to Robert's house again because he would experience allergies. It just doesn't make sense for him to go. So that is how I could draw a conclusion from that. So to start off today, you're going to watch a video where Sherlock Bones, the legendary dog detective, will show you how to use text evidence to make inferences and draw conclusions. After watching the video, you will complete two drawing conclusions activities where you will read a short fiction text and show what you know by answering questions. I hope you enjoyed learning about drawing conclusions and making inferences. Stay safe and keep learning. This is Dakota Gagliardi. Thanks for letting me be your guest teacher this week. Have an amazing weekend.